how to create Ansible AWX Super User in Docker containers? Ansible AWX Super User has the power to configure all the settings and has unlimited power inside the modern web UI and API interface. I'm going to show you how to create your first super user and how to use it. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Let's move on to the demo time. So let's get our hands dirty. How to create Ansible AWX super user in Docker containers. I'm going to show you how to create the sysadmin or choose whatever name you want super user in Ansible AWX via Docker containers and how to use it in the AWX web UI and API. Yes, you need to log in and there are more settings and more fun. So let's move on to the demo session. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, I have a running AWX instances that runs inside a Docker container. So let me verify that everything is running using the docker ps command. This is useful to list the running container in your system. So let me open my terminal from this system and run docker ps. As you can see, there is all the six containers running, the receptor, the postgres, the redis, the awx one, and we are going to enter inside the container and run one specific command. To enter inside, we use docker-ti, so we are con and docker exec ti so we are going to exec this command directly. The container name is called tools underscore awx underscore one. This is the main container of awx, and we are going to run awx manage utility. This is a command line utility that interacts directly with awx. And uh, a parameter is a create super user. So we are going to jump inside a container and run this uh, uh, command line utility. This command line has some parameter, so expect a CLI interface that asks us what is the username of the target um, new user. So let me choose a sysadmin, choose whatever you want. Let's specify an email address, for example, example at example.com. And let me type twice the new password. This is secret, so I'm not going to share with you. Once everything is done, we get a successfully created message and everything is sorted out. So basically we connected to the container execute the command and exited. So everything seems ready to go. Now we can move on and verify the new created user in the browser. So welcome in my browser, let me connect to my system under localhost port 8033. I already accepted the self-signer certificate, so I go directly to the login screen. Uh, that Ask us for username and password. Well, we know a username and password. So let's connect directly with a sysadmin username and the password that I choose. So just uh, fill out the form sysadmin as username and the password that uh, I was choosing. And in a blink of an eye, you are going to see the dashboard of a web UI that uh, mainly has uh, four different components. These are the views, the resources, the access, administration, and setting of oh, five. Bear in mind that some parts are restricted only to super user. So for example, the setting part are visible only to super user. Here you can configure all the uh, behavior of the system for example, uh, you can interact also with different systems of authentication. You can set it up, the 
login level as well also some parameters so how to behave uh, running some jobs and you can create more accesses so now let's review together the user setting as you can see this is my username that as a system administrator with unrestricted access access to all resources now you can create new users and assign different roles in your organization in the same manner, you can connect to the AWX API. So basically just write slash API after the URL and you go straight away to the REST API interface. As you can see, there is uh, some help, uh, some navigation help and you can uh, log in inside the API to get more endpoints available. So let me connect with my sysadmin user and uh, so as you can see uh, is visible on the top the logged in as a user uh, this gives us more power okay let me switch to the new interface that has a v2 in the end great okay so this is the full uh, ansible awx api as you can see, there are some endpoints that are visible only to system administrator, for example, the settings endpoints. This is very uh, useful because basically as uh, all the property that we saw in the web UI available here and you can configure all the details. As you can see here, there are some jobs, the UI behavior and whatever. So basically everything that you can do in the UI, you can do also in the API. Oh, it uh, was the opposite. Uh, what happened if we log out? Well, as you can see, the settings endpoint is not available to uh, users that are not logged in and not with system administrator privileges. So let me um, log in again and this time you are able to see all the settings endpoint. Yay! So it seems that our sysadmin user is fully working. Yay, great success! Now you know how to create Ansible AWX super user in Docker containers. This procedure might be useful if you don't have access to the web UI, you lost the password, or maybe you want to create another super user, or you just uh, clean your environment and you create a new one. So this is very useful and very be helpful to know this procedure from now on. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful for you and see us on the next adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day. Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.